Welcome back to Terraria Mob Battles. In this series, I pit Terraria enemies against each other to see who's the strongest foe of them all. Last episode featured heavyweight fights like Everscream vs. Morningwood and Retinazer vs. Spasmatism. Tune in for this episode, the excitement continues. And without further ado, let the battles begin. For our first battle, show off our little water area. The giant flying fox, a creature that does not deserve life, liberty, or the pursuit of happiness, faces off against the shark. It just blinded me. Like, it's just proving how bad it is. Shark, go eat this thing. Alright, the battle has begun. Giant flying fox dips into the water. Shark attempts to leap at it. Do not strand yourself because you won't be able to get back. Giant flying fox taking it to the skies. I think he's coming back. It's drifting back. Yo, it's landing a pursuit. It knocked the shark out of the water. This is not good for the shark. It could still land hits, but... Yikes. Our next battle features the Herpling. An incredible annoyance of the Crimson. Fighting off the Pigron. They have similar stats, but different AI behaviors. Let's see how this goes. The battle has begun. The Herpling jumps at the Pigron. The Pigron lashes out. Will it get to teleport? No, but it lands a swift overhead blow on the Herpling to knock it out of the battle. The Black Recluse, a terrifying enemy, goes up against the Flying Snake. Now this is like a golem tier enemy, but I'm hoping the projectiles will make up for its strength, you know? Battle has begun. Black Recluse goes after the snake. Lands two crits and finishes it off. Wow. But just to prove that it wasn't a fluke, we'll run that back. Here's the black clues. Go after the flying snake. Yeah. Flying snake stood no chance. The Arapaima, which keeps friggin' spawning in your hard mode jungle world. It's like, it's not just me, guys. This thing is a menace. Absolute menace to society. The entire jungle ecosystem is ruined by this invasive little predator. That's why we have to take it out with... Hmm. The dungeon spirit is up for this job. Alright, you're our post plantera enemy. You should be able to do this. Go get him. The battle has begun. The spirit wastes no time in rushing in, but gets squashed by the flopping Arapaima. The raven, basically an evil version of the vulture, which is already pretty evil, now gets to face off against the parrot in an aerial duel of the birds. Okay, the battle has begun. The raven sitting still, the parrot unleashes its talons in utter fury and rips the raven apart. The vampire will now face off against terrifying Aetherian wyvern. Let's wait after a charge. The battle has begun. The vampire taking massive damage. It falls into water as cover. It lands a critical blow. Almost. But quite not enough. The ant lion, an absolute terror of the desert. If you're the size of a small bug. Goes up against the pixie. Not as friendly as it looks or sounds. Alright, the battle has begun. Pixie floats menacingly towards the ant lion. Ant lion lands a shot. Pixie is running away. I think it's allergic to sand, guys. Ant lion readying up the next shot. It is its mark again. Pixie lands an overhead blow. And Lion's gonna lose the melee. It needs to land a few more shots, and then the Pixie will be down. Pixie goes in for a final blow. It runs off. This is not the time to be afraid, Pixie. One more hit. It depends on the accuracy of the Ant Lion. One more hit. And the Pixie takes it back with a crit. Okay, for this one we have a classic. Demon Eye versus the zombie. Place your bets in the comments below. Or don't, because this is probably going to be a very quick one. Get him, Demon Eye. He's afraid of the water, as he usually is. Ooh, perfect hit. It lands a crit, but the zombie still has more HP. If the zombie crits, it's over. No crits. And there it is. Unfortunately, the demon eye just has less stats than zombie. So it needs to get lucky to win. 
Actually, pretty fortunately. I would hate to have zombie-sized demon eyes going after me. That would be horrible. Speaking of zombie-sized demon eyes, we have the wandering eye next. Have the wandering eye face off against the floaty gross. Which is a pretty descriptive and accurate name. The battle has begun. They're facing off. Ooh, Floaty Gross landing a good shot. But remember, the Wandering Eye has a second phase. In this phase, its primary objective is to get a crit in. If he gets a crit in, it's over for Floaty Gross. Good damage. Crit? No crit. The moth and an endangered species of the forest, I mean the jungle, same thing, faces off against the Icker Sticker of the Underground Crimson. The battle has begun. The moth gets hit by Icker, takes massive damage. Icker Sticker also taking good damage because the moth is just so tanky. It's running away strategically. Very close. The moth able to pull it back. The Brain of Cthulhu. Who is not despawning because I have this funny little mod here. Has just implied like seven debuffs on me. Okay, you're gonna fight this thing. This thing is a absolute beast, so be careful. Okay, the battle has begun. Elf Copter taking some damage. The landing great shots. Oh my god. It looks like the brain is gonna get eviscerated. And it did. Nebula Floater, the most annoying enemy of the Nebula Pillar, faces off against the Flow Invader, who works basically the same way, right? <laughs> but this one teleports. Let's see who wins. Flow Invader doing a little bit more damage in the Floater, and it's missing more. The Nebula Floater, again, can reposition itself with teleports. The Flow Invader, however, just straight up outpacing the Nebula Folder. Oh, nice thought. It wasn't enough. Alright, the Goblin Summoner and mini boss of the Goblin Invasion event is gonna face off against the Wyvern. Okay, the battle has begun. Apparitions taking a chunk out of the Wyvern, but the Wyvern is taking a chunk out of the Summoner as well. Summoner is creating a landmine for the Wyvern. Ooh, each of those dashes are costing the Wyvern great amounts of HP. And the battle's over. Now imagine this scenario. You're just a pirate ship, doing pirate ship things, and all of a sudden, Santa comes to raid your ship. Your crew is in danger. The battle's begun. Santa NK1 taking a beating from the ship right now. It has to destroy all four cannons to win. But it does have the arsenal to do this. The ship is launching crew members at the sand tank. Lowering its HP means possibility of it turn into the second phase. Alright, it's gunning down a cannon. That cannon is almost finished. Pirates are stacking up DPS behind the sand tank. That cannon is gone. Sand tank is in second stage. It is still targeting that one cannon. But sand tank has plenty of AoE to spread around. If it unleashes presence, it might be over for the stuff mate. The presents are coming, dealing massive damage, and it's a launching. Oh man! Oh man! All of the crew members are dying. More presents, and the sand tank falls. Wow! But let's see what happens when two terrors of the jungle meet. The battle has begun. Okay. Plantera dealing good damage to Golem, who is also dealing good damage to Plantera. You need some spike balls going, there's a spike ball. Plantera is in second phase, Golem is in the laser phase. Tentacles are not hitting their mark, but that's because they're mainly designed to catch things. Oops. And there it is. Okay, although the Ice Queen absolutely annihilates the Pumpkin, 
How about Plantera? The battle has begun. The Ice Queen unleashing its icicles. Plantera shooting out its petals. It's staying at a safe distance away from the spinny. Ice Queen is getting sniped right now. Plantera taking more damage though. Plantera is in second stage. All of the tentacles are going after it. The blades not really hitting Plantera's body. Tentacles going after the Ice Queen. Not doing the greatest damage though. And it appears the match is soon to be over. He is respawning the tentacles, but at a rather slow pace. Yeah. I think it's over. Okay, so Plantera couldn't kill the Ice Queen. But how about the inferior pumpkin? The battle has begun. Okay. Plantera is taking way too much damage right now. These little fire sparks. Really hurting her. Tentacles have been unleashed. Okay, they are being cleaved apart by the side. This is ending quicker than Ice Queen. Here's the soul mech boss that I didn't show in the last video. This is what happens if I try to put it against anything. You, you guys will see. That has begun. Okay, now I've placed your best, but it won't matter. Destroyer launching a barrage of lasers. Skeletron Prime. Dealing so much damage to the Destroyer. Worm bosses, man. Injustice. This is injustice. Probes get melted in an instant. Surprisingly close, honestly. Last time I tried this, it was much worse. But since we are on this world already, why not give Destroyer another shot? If you can't beat Prime, maybe you can beat an Ogre? Destroyer, where are you at? Alright, there we go. Okay, Ogre walking on air. That's good. Falling down. It's not. Doing decent damage. Ogre's strategy would be to hit the segments and not get hit by the head. Ogre looks kind of confused. This knot isn't doing much. Destroyer's immune to all the up. Ah, uh, the laser field. Destroyer devours its prey. Well, this will be a test of skill for Fishraw mostly, so... Okay, Stardust Pillar. Sounds good. Bad as the gun. The pillar spawning enemies. Slow Invader, trying to minimize Duke Fishron's HP, but it's just too late. You know, to make it, I guess, fair, that's... Five Slow Invader. Why does that have so much health? Damn. Alright, after hours of searching, I finally figured out Duke Fishron's rightful opponent. Okay. The battle has begun. Catch up with the action. Alright, Betsy unleashing charges. The Sharknado is going to come. Oh, that flamethrower attack is so cool. Wyverns are being spawned. These are very powerful minions. So Fishron does have his Sharkron. More Sharknados. Betsy unleashing all of those projectiles. More flamethrower. Betsy taking good damage. We're also dealing great amounts in return. Alright, missing that flame breath. That doesn't matter yet. Fish run in rage. Come on, get back here. Okay, fish run. Now angry once again. Shark Nados. Gonna do great damage to Betsy. Also the shark run. Then she spins in a circle. That flamethrower lighting up the arena. 
more here in Wyverns are being summoned. Ooh. All right, Flame Breath misses once again, and that is Enraged. Fish Ron actually in second stage now. Betsy, half health loss. All right, Fish Ron once again in the battle. Sharknado hitting Betsy for a massive damage. All those Shark Rons. Oh man. I think they've upgraded to Kazulu Nato by this point. Betsy is in a world of hurt right now. Flamethrowers can't quell an entire army of sharks. Betsy spawning its own army. Oh no. It looks like it's over. Fish Ron's gonna be enraged right now. And alright. Fish Ron is in its last stage, and Betsy has 200 HP left. Oh man. Ah. Alright, just for shots and goggles, our final battle is gonna be Moon Lord vs. Moon Lord. Let's see how this works. Or rather, it doesn't work. Alright, the two Lords of the Moon are going after each other. They're taking this underground. Death Ray, inflicting damage on the other eye. They will die, eventually, I assure you. Eventually, okay. Both eyes have popped out, now that's just the core left. This is gonna be where it gets interesting, guys. That one true eye doing good damage. Good support. See, in 1.4, the true eyes teleport along with the Moon Lord. By now, they don't. Well, that's infuriating. Alright, you two. Let's duke it out. Did that other Moon Lord really just... Oh my god, the leech things are... They're going wild. Okay, Betsy taking damage from- Oh god, the true eyes are back! They finally made their way back! And they are on to Betsy! They are on to her! Oh no, oh no! She is getting eviscerated! Look at that death ray! Oh no! All those lunar flares. <laughs> you know what boss needs is revenge. It's time. Here is your chance to beat Terraria, Golem. This is your chance. You could be known as the boss who defeated the Moon Lord. I hear the true eyes. They're coming. But if you could batter this core enough before the true eyes come, you will be known as a legend. A wonder of the Terraria world it is close to dying, guys. The other tribe? No idea where it is. They are on vacation. And there you have it, everyone! The Golem! Has been Terraria! If the golem can do this, you can too. Also, here's your last prism, golem. You deserve it.